really feel like we need to rename polycystic ovarian syndrome because our ovaries are not cystic, they are follicular. So during a transvaginal ultrasound, when we're looking at ovaries, what we're looking for are these little follicles that sit in what we call a string of pearl formation around the outside of your ovary. These are actually little follicles, they're not cysts. What happens is every month your ovaries are trying to ovulate and they work towards getting there, but then they stop. And so every month you make a little follicle, but it doesn't get all the way to ovulation. And then you're left with all of these little remnants of that trying to ovulate. Keep in mind, these are different than the type of cysts some other people get where they get bigger and cause pain. These are very, very small. These do not cause pain and burst or can cause torsions like those bigger cysts can. Now keep in mind, you don't have PCOS if you only have polycystic ovaries. So you might get an ultrasound and they might tell you you have polycystic ovaries, but you don't automatically have PCOS. Remember to be diagnosed with PCOS, you need two of the three following things. Polycystic ovaries, high androgens, either clinical or lab, and then oligomenorrhea, which means you get your period less than about every 35 days.